let me give you a historic parallel, right? Somewhere between 1920 and 1930, the number of agricultural workers in the U.S. went down from 30% of the population down to three, right? Because of tractors and other mechanization of agriculture, right? Did we gain jobs as a result eventually? Yes. Did those people who lose their job ever regain a job? Probably not. In fact, m- many of those people migrated to a different part of the country, and you still still see them in these, well, they're literally called ghettos in the US, right? <laughs> Which I don't want to touch a heated political topic, but essentially the descendants of the people who were displaced in the 20s never quite recovered. And so these transitions, even if they are positive eventually, they could be extremely painful. And now the transition will happen to a class that is much more politically involved and can fight back. And so it's even less predictable, right? Knowledge workers, if you start displacing 90% of them, right? Yes, maybe new jobs will appear, but first they will push back. And I should say we will push back, right? (laughs) (laughs) So true. 